Oh my gosh, everybody, I'm so excited. <laughs> I just got back from my mailbox. I am working from home today, so I got the notification that I had a package arrival from Goulet Pens, and um, I knew immediately what it would be. I actually had two packages. I, I had two separate packages because I placed two separate orders. <laughs> So I'm so excited. Okay. Goulet pens, I love when they send their cool little stickers. So I have the ink blot, but I've never had this one before. That's so cute. That cute little Lamy 2000 with the dragon. I love it. Okay, so, and of course, with every Goulet pens order, you get a little Tootsie Pop. That's so exciting. Okay, are we ready? I don't know if you are. I don't know which one to open first. Okay. Uh, okay, let's go with this one. So <laughs> this is my first Bennu pen. This is the first time I've done a pen unboxing like on the YouTubes with my, with me talking. I've done like a few like filmed it because I couldn't, you know, set up the camera properly. And I didn't even set up my microphone. I was in such a hurry because I'm on my lunch break. <laughs> I'm working from home. Okay. This pen, very first Bennu is do, 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 do. Wow. it is the Banu euphoria in the iced is it iced caramel latte goulet pens exclusive edition and this had gone out of stock. This has been like probably their most popular Euphoria model. Oh my gosh. One, two, I was like two and a half. Okay. A Schmidt nib. And I was so excited I threw out my um, <laughs> packing slip. I am fairly certain that I got the Banu in a fine nib um, because I had been reading a lot of reviews and watching a lot of videos and um, people were saying that the Banus tend to write maybe a little bit more broad so I opted for a fine nib. Isn't that stunning? Oh my gosh. Okay, now I want to show you the other pen that I purchased. And um, when I'm not on my lunch break, when I actually have more time, then we can set up the filming. I like, I didn't even do an intro. <laughs> I was just so excited. When I'm not on my lunch break, we can set up the filming again and do like writing samples and, and we'll do this properly. But I just had to open it. Um, I just had to see, oh my gosh. Okay, all right, this one. Uh, first Esther Brooke. Okay, so. Ooh. Very nice. <laughs> this is the Esterbrook SD in Petrified Forest. Wow. It was tough to choose between the SDs. I knew I wanted an Esterbrook SD for so long. It was really tough to choose between this and the sea glass, to be honest. And I almost went with the sea glass until I saw this limited edition. And I was like, that's the one. Okay. One. Almost two. I love, oh, that's such a satisfying pop. And I got this in a fine as well.
this is like Texas, Texas orange. But I feel like I could I could do so much with this pen. I could put so many different colors in here. Just all of my warm, wonderful, rich colors into here. This is stunning. Oh, okay. That pop when it comes off. So satisfying. And it's because they have that inner cap um, to help it, you know, to prevent it from drying out. Hmm, okay. So everybody says that it's quite long to post. I don't know. I guess once I get to my writing sample, I'll see. I'll see if that one feels a little too long to post. Wow. Oh my gosh, these are just even more stunning in person. As as like they all are, as they all say. I'm wow. That one is, is really too big to post. I would have to, yeah. Beautiful, so beautiful. So beautiful. Okay, let's put these. Just kind of right next to each other. They're very, very similar in length. Mm-hmm. Oopsies. Let's see. The new is a touch longer. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. These are gorgeous. Well, I guess we'll have to stay tuned when I do the writing sample, um, probably at the end of my work day, because I'm just going to be too excited staring at these beauties um, to not want to ink these up. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, I am back. The work day is over, and it's time to ink these pens up. I realized that because I have these, ink these pens already inked up, I'm... I just wanted to like test out what they looked like in my case. Anyway, that's that's all it was. <laughs> I already have these six pens inked up and I need, I think I'm gonna change them out because of all the pens that are coming in. So I don't really want to have this many pens inked up. So I'll have to do some cleaning. Um, not gonna do that on camera, but I just wanted to showcase what I had already inked up and um, say hello to my wonderful rag. Now I just grabbed a standard TN notebook. This one's from Sterling Ink. And this was what I was documenting. So I was, I was playing around with what I had already inked up and then put the Le Bon Rosa Lilac in the, with the mix. Because if I'm posting these in the order that I think I'm gonna be posting them in, Le bon Rosa with lilac in it, or Le bon Rosa lilac with Poussière de Lune still in it. I don't know if I'm going to change this up. I kind of want to see if like maybe I can change it to like a guaranteed wet ink. Do you know what I mean? And maybe see if that'll kind of eliminate some of my issues that I was having with it when I was um, testing it out last night. Okay, so that's all that is. Now... Let's get to the two newest pens, which are these wonderful ones. Okay, so I thought I would be a little bit complimentary and do the Esterbrook SD in Petrified Wood with Pilot Iroshizuku Yamabuto. And then for Iced Caramel Latte, I thought I would do Coffee Break by Colorverse. This is going to be um, a leap of faith because the last time I played with Coffee Break, it feathered pretty badly. So I hope, um, you know, different papers, testing it out again, I'll I'll re-fall in love with this ink. This, this just happens to be like the warmest brown 
like true brown that I own and not like a a clay desert brown that kind of thing I really wanted a coffee <laughs> colored ink to go into this pen for the first time also I did find my um, packing slip and I actually ordered this in a medium nib not a fine nib so we'll see how that um has an impact on things as well okay moment of truth let's test these pens out okay so this is my Leuchtturm pocket notebook I always test in Leuchtturm when I ink something in a brand new pen because I use Leuchtturm the most at work and I want to make sure that I like it okay so I think I remember yeah, that was much too large to be posted. So this is how we'll do it. Okay. Ooh. What's the date today? The, oh, no, it's the 20th. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This had like no problem with me finding a good angle. Okay, what is this? This is the Banu Euphoria. O-M-G, oh my gosh, this is like what dreams are made of. Banu Euphoria. Iced, oh my gosh. Can I say, oh my gosh, any more? Iced Caramel Latte in a medium nib. Oh my gosh, this is like everything I wanted in a pen. And I didn't even know it. It's sparkly and it writes like a dream. Oh. Okay, and then I have it inked up with, oh my gosh, this like takes no effort. Colorverse, um, coffee break, oh, so stunning, oh my gosh. Hello, new love of my life, aside from my son <laughs> and my husband, you have just made the list. Wow. I was so nervous. Whoa. Okay. Now, um, I, I did this yesterday, so I kind of want to do it again for the lefties. But, oh my gosh, lefties, this is it. This is our pen. We're going to do an overwrite. And we're gonna do um, side right, and I'm gonna do an under right if I can. I'm terrible at underwriting, which is why I don't do it. There's like literally no difference, no matter the angle that you're putting this pen. Oh my God, lefties, this is it. This is our pen. This is our pen. <gasps> Wow, okay. And then quick brown fox. Jumped over the, oh, I forgot. It's jumps, not past tense. Oh. What a dream. Oopsies. Can you see that? There's just like not even a, a little bit of difference 
in the overriding, side writing, or underwriting as a lefty with this pen. Wow. I don't ever want to take this pen out of my hands. And coffee break, you are divine. All right, moment of truth for the SD. Oh. Oh, this is good too. Esther Brook. SD. Petrified forest. And this was with a fine nib. Okay, so this one does write more like a medium nib. I'm glad I got the fine. Perhaps if I get a medium Esther Book nib, it might be a little too broad, but I'm okay with it. Now, Yamabuto always bleeds through like shrimp paper for me, but I will make a sacrifice for this beautiful pen. Okay, so Pilot. Shinzuku. Yamabuto. Oh my goodness, this is what dreams are made of. This is what I wished uh, my experience with that Laban Rosa was like without having to juggle for the angle. But it could be the ink. I don't know. I'm willing to test that theory out. Wonder if I change up the ink. Will that make a difference? Oh, just how gorgeous. How easy. It's like... Wow, for once I don't have to think about what I'm writing. <laughs> How it's designed, wow. Okay, now let's try with the overwrite, the side right, and underwrite. Yeah, there again, no difference in my angle of writing, which, oh my gosh, lefties, lefties. All right, and then let's just do a quick round fox jumps. Huh. I think these two are just absolute winners. Wow. Yeah, that's just, I always get Yamabuto bleeding on, on my Leuchtturm paper. Do you see how easy that was in comparison to when I was doing overwrite, side right, and underwrite with that Laban nib? Gosh, I wonder if it's because it was a fine. I just have to know. That's a good thing. I do still have a Laban medium nib coming my way. Um, so I'll be able to test that out and compare the two. Um, so if you're left-handed, stay tuned. Oh, so pretty, so pretty. Oh, so easy. 
just so easy to write with both of these. Since I've, you know, taken a look at these back to back, between the two, here we go. Since I've taken a look at these back to back, between the two, and it's only by the slimmest of margins, it's the Banu Euphoria. I think this one just writes like a dream. It could be that it's the medium nib versus this fine nib. But this fine nib, I mean, if you look at them, they look pretty similar in terms of what the output is. I mean, that's a pretty broad fine. And it's only by the slimmest of margins. It's only by the slimmest of margins, but that Banu, I'm so happy. I am so happy about this pen. I had been pretty hesitant to purchase Banu um, because there's so many designs to choose from and not all of them are to my taste. But then because I've been obsessing over my arrival of this Banu, <laughs> I've been looking at nothing but videos of Banu pens and now I'm like, I don't care about how sparkly they are. I want them all. <laughs> so, oh, this may have solidified that I have to get another Banu pen now. Oh my gosh. Wow. And I'm very happy with this. If there comes a day where I decide, you know what, it's time to treat yourself to another Esterbrook, then I would definitely get a medium nib um, to test out the medium nib and I would get it in the sea glass. So then I could have the two colors that I was eyeing. I went with the Petrified Forest first um, because it's it's like a burnt orange. I'm not, I swear I'm not like so overly Texas. Like you're not going to walk into my house and find like Texas everything. But, and I'm not even originally from Texas. That's the funny thing. I've lived here for 10 years. So I, I've been told I can now call my myself a Texan. But it's just this rich color, this rich earthy orange that I'm obsessed with um, that I had to get this one first. So there we have it. There was a little bit of discombobulation today because I was just so excited. But I hope you enjoyed this new pen day video, this exploration of these two pens, the Banu Euphoria and the Esterbrook SD. If you have any questions about these two, please let me know in the comment section be below. I'm just like on such a high right now with these two pens. Literally, I don't I don't want to take these off. Like, take these away. Don't don't want to change inks, don't want to do anything. I think for the first go around, I picked the right colors to match the pens. Oh, very, very excited. Okay, so to wrap up, what do we do? Um, like, comment, subscribe, all of those wonderful, wonderful engagement things that YouTube asks of you. Um, and that will really help my channel to grow because this is a brand new planner, fountain pen, all the things channel. And I'm very, very excited to have you here. So thank you so much for watching. You know how these videos end. Talk to you later. Bye.